so i am demonstrating suturing of an episiotomy video lateral episiotomy always look at the apex see this is the apex of the episiotomy wound i am holding with an instrument and the first stitch always goes 1 cm above the apex okay and the suture material is preferably white wool graphite but here in this case i am using white wool which is not graphite thank you this one goes the sausage type of uh, pack is kept in the vagina and the tag always has to be left out and never forget to remove it otherwise it will be like a foreign body and it's not good to leave anything inside okay so tag is outside and the sausage is inside this only to prevent the blood coming down and uh, visibility is not there now i'm suturing the vaginal epithelium continuous suture okay thank you last part make your cutaneous junction if you can make out this is the junction okay this i am taking on one side and then on the other side this approximation is important thank you so i am demonstrating suturing of an episiotomy medial lateral episiotomy always look at the apex see this is the apex of the episiotomy wound i am holding with an instrument and the first stitch always goes 1 cm above the apex okay and the suture material is preferably white wool graphite but here in this case i am using white wool which is not graphite thank you this one goes the sausage type of uh, pack is kept in the vagina and the tag always has to be left out and never forget to remove it otherwise it will be like a foreign body and it's not good to leave anything inside okay so tag is outside and the sausage is inside this is only to prevent the blood coming down and uh, visibility is not there now i'm suturing the vaginal epithelium continuous suture okay thank you last part make your cutaneous junction if you can make out this is the junction okay this i am taking on one side and then on the other side this approximation is important thank you so suture is taken then i'm going inside out okay because we are suturing continuous it's a three layer continuous suture so inside out can you press to stabilize it thank you the first layer that is the epithelium now we we'll have to assess the depth of the episiotomy because now it's the deep perineal muscles have to be taken so assess the depth and then obliterate the dead space is equally important so i'm just assessing the depth so that where i should take the suture so this is the depth i have assessed and then i'm going with the second layer of suturing that is the deep transverse perineal muscles thank you so deep transverse perineal muscles obliterating the dead space and if any bleeders are there they should be ligated individually so no tension tension free sutures and no locking and this is the deep perineal muscles i am taking so continuous second layer we have almost done thank you this is the third one third layer that means i am going with the superficial perineal muscles okay so we finished with the vaginal epithelium then we finished with the deep perineal muscles now i am going with the superficial transverse perine and bulbo spongiosus muscle thank you this is the subcuticular okay i am starting this way from the apex below why i am starting from below is so that the the knot will come higher i don't want to leave the knot close to the anal region that's what that is my intention thank you approximated with the subcuticular we have started from the lower end so that the knot will be placed at the away from the anus so i'm knotting it it's a tension free closure without any locking and it was a continuous okay thank you so finally i buried the knot from inside out and then i am just cutting the suture material so nothing is exposed now 
the chances of contamination of the suture material with the fecal matter if she doesn't take a proper perineal care is also avoided so we finish doing and at the end do a parietal examination to assess if any stitch has gone accidentally into the anal mucosa anal epithelium so this pr was done in the beginning of the episiotomy and also at the end in the beginning to see if any involvement of the anal epithelium and the end to see whether if any suture accidentally has passed through the anal epithelium thank you